You know, I could totally start this video off like the old 1940s cartoons and be all like, Last time on the adventures of Johnny Rye! <laughs> uh, but I won't. Okay, so according to where I left off on the last video, I was at the age 17 looking like I was 10 with no testosterone in my body and no puberty in sight anywhere. Well, here's what the doctors figured out. So my family doctor was the one that figured out that I didn't have testosterone in my body through lots of blood work. And so he sent me to an endocrinologist, which if you remember from our science lesson in the last video, an endocrinologist would specialize in the endocrine system, which is our gland system. More specifically, this endocrinologist specialized in the aging of young people. So he asked me about a million questions about my eating habits, my sleeping habits, my interests, my family, everything you could think he needed to know about me. But what tipped him off was the fact that I have no sense of smell and have not had one since birth. So that little bit of data added with the fact that I had not reached puberty yet led him to believe that I had something called Kalman syndrome. Kalman syndrome is a genetic disorder that is characterized by the lack of GnRH, which we've learned about already, and what is called congenital anosmia, which is a fancy name for not having a sense of smell since birth. So really quick, we're going to do one more science lesson before we finish our story. Here is how Kalman syndrome works. Kalman syndrome occurs when the GnRH neurons are not able to get to the pituitary gland enough to stimulate the release of gonadotropin hormones, which cause puberty. This error is caused by a communication problem between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. That same connection error also affects the olfactory glands, which are required to develop a sense of smell. Kalman syndrome is most commonly caused by inherited genetics, specifically by the mother. And according to the most recent study, 1 in 10,000 males have Kalman syndrome. Okay, so back to my story. So we figured I had Kalman syndrome and immediately put me on hormonal therapy. Specifically, they put me on Depotestosterone, which is a synthetic testosterone. I started on a regimen of injections, and once that began, I actually started going through puberty. To be more precise, I went through what most boys do in six years in six months. I grew seven inches, gained 80 pounds of weight, dropped my voice a couple octaves, grew hair, and all those wonderful things that come with puberty. In fact, I stopped looking like a 10 year old and started looking like a college student just in time for college. Well, there you have it. At age 17, I looked like someone from elementary school, but by age 19, I looked like I could pass off as an actual college student instead of looking like the new Doogie Hauser. If you happen to have any questions about Kalman syndrome or my story, feel free to leave comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, if you like this video or any other videos that I make, please be sure to subscribe or leave me a thumbs up down in the like section. And that's all I have to say about that.